Welcome to Gear Check Games. This is part one of our commentary for Kirby ah, Nightmare ah, in Dreamland. Ah. Oh, <laughs> or should I say Kirby, since there appears to be a million of him for some reason. Oh. But yes, once again, um, I'm Joe. I'm joined by my two good pals, Trey and Dan, as per usual. Hello. And once again, we find ourselves playing the Game Boy Advance remake of a game for the NES. Yeah. Um... Have either of you guys played this game before? No. No, uh, this is my first Kirby game. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes two of us. Yeah, this was not only my first Kirby game, but also the first 2D platformer that I ever completed. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, the second game I got for the Game Boy Advance besides uh, Pokemon Ruby was this, so... This is a very nostalgic game to me. It's got a very special place in my heart. <laughs> yeah, that actually, explains, that actually explains a lot. <laughs> He's trying to- Joe's first platformer, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, and mine being Super Mario World with invisible bosses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a bit of a difficulty gap there, but uh -huh. um, uh, you know, that never stopped me from giving a subpar performance. <laughs> uh, no no spoilers, but uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, slowly show you the menu descriptions for all these. Uh, this game did have multiplayer. Um, you could play through all the levels um, uh, with up to four players uh, oh. via the Game Boy Advance link oh, cable. Yeah. If you were lucky enough to have four friends who all owned Game Boy Advances, copies of this game, and enough link cables to connect everybody, so... Um, uh -huh. I had the which Game Boy Advances actually, and the link cables, but not the games. Be believe it or not, I actually had two other guys that I used to play this game with oh, in co-op wow. when, I, when I was in, like, third grade. Oh, wow. Um, so that was a lot of fun. I had one other friend in grade <laughs> school. That, <laughs> oh, yeah, I love the power descriptions. Uh-huh, I try to show off as many as possible. It's a nice little bit of flavor. Are they, like, descriptions from Kirby's perspective? Just like, this is what this power makes me feel. I'm not sure. Um, I feel like sometimes they're in... And I, and I might be misremembering this, but I feel like sometimes they're in the first person, sometimes they're in third person. So who knows? I'm, I guess I'm more baffled by the fact that Kirby can even speak, right. which he usually doesn't in most media. Is it, is it, Maybe, I guess they're just his thoughts, though, so it's fine. Yeah, Maybe yeah he's, 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 like, just... he's like one of those characters that has like really deep, complex thoughts, but his mouth can only say Poyo. Yeah. Uh huh. He's like, uh. I, I, he's like I have Grimlock. No, I have no mouth, but I must poyo. <laughs> yeah. He's like Grimlock from, uh, uh, Transformers. He's like oh, inc incredibly yeah. intelligent yeah. and he can, like, build other Transformers, but he just has a speech impediment. Uh huh. So before oh, we actually talk rally. about the, the core gameplay of this game, we've got a minigame here Bomb Rally. Oh. God, this is so nostalgic to me. Yeah, you basically just pass this bomb back and forth between the, um, the CPU Kirby's <laughs> until one of them. You to hit to hit the bomb, you just have to time a uh, press of the A button. Um, you basically just pass it back and forth until somebody mistimes their press and gets blown up. Um, and like the main game, this was also playable with up to four players. Oh, we had link cables. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh huh. And I also played this with my friends, I'm... which is so weird in hindsight, but like. It's yeah. a thing that happened. Do you have to push a directional button, uh, to... Um, I'm actually not sure how to send the bomb in the opposite direction, to be honest. I think you just, like, hold the, uh, arrow button in the direction well, you Well, see, I tried it. that when playing this, but it didn't work. Huh. Or maybe I just suck. I don't I know. I thought I remember being able to do that. What do they call those spiky well, probably, there's, there, there, there has to be a way, but I just, I, I guess I'm just too big of a doofus <laughs> to figure it out. Yeah, just beam it. Um... But yeah, so so Kirby is not not really your typical um, side scroller. <laughs> you don't defeat enemies by um, by jumping on them. You inhale them, and from that point, you can either spit them out as a projectile or swallow them. And if you swallow uh, certain kinds of enemies, you'll copy their um, special powers. Oh, that's cool. Like this one we've got here lets us throw boomerangs um, at our foes. Uh, and the game that Nightmare in Dreamland is a remake of, Kirby's Adventure, was actually the first Kirby game to feature copy abilities like this. Which is odd, because the copy ability has kind of become like the defining feature of Kirby. So it's just weird to think that there was, you know, there was a game before this that didn't have copy abilities at all. 
And uh, honestly, it's kind of weird to go back to, like, the original Kirby game and not be able to do wait. that. Kirby just did, like, the big bang attack. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's pink, and he can absorb people's powers. Is he just Majin Buu? <laughs> Well, who came first? I think Kirby was in like 91, 92. Was uh, the Dragon Ball's from the 80s. Game. Like, yeah, it was okay. Majin Buu well, from the 80s. Oh, yeah, when did the that's Buu true. Saga... That's probably like mid 90s. Did Akira yeah. Toriyama just steal Kirby and make him the, a big bad villain? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, he already stole. <laughs> I just love to think that something about this game just really rubbed him the wrong way <laughs> to the point where he had to like make an entire story arc based around like <laughs> like an evil parody of Kirby. If they zag, I cut them too. Uh -huh. You know, for all those uh, Heroes of the Storm players out there, if anyone zags, that means they're uh, pushing your lanes. Mm, what? We know Zagara. What? <laughs> She's a like never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought this was like a specific Heroes of the Storm Heroes of the Storm term for like No, I was being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, we're we're so cool that like we have specific terms for our game that aren't like used for other MOBAs. <laughs> Here here's here's a specific term for that game. R I P <laughs> Well chosen. So um Who's gonna stop me? So I so Dan, you've played uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. Have you also played Kirby's Adventure? Uh, I played a little bit of it. M maybe okay. just in like the brawl demos or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. There were there were a lot of games on that. Yeah. There were Game Boy Advance ah. games on brawls demos. No. Well, NES. no, it was the NES. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kirby's although Adventure. there were N sixty four demos. Like mm -hmm. there was a demo yeah. for Ocarina of. Actually, weren't a lot. Weren't the demos like the full games, and it just yeah. time like it just gave you a time limit, so you could hack the game to like. It, 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 it's crazy that they like actually did that after so many games in the past had demos that were just the full games and easily yeah. got hacked, yeah. so people could just like play the full games for free. Well, it's it's a very un Nintendo thing to do, but at the same time, it's also a very, very Nintendo, Nintendo thing, thing to, to do, do. <laughs> because. Yeah. Because this was the Wii era, when, like, you couldn't have a, a downloadable game that was higher than, like, like 512 megabytes or whatever. Because the Wii's internal storage space was so small. <laughs> um, but yeah, th thankfully going forward they... Well, they're still not where they need to be in terms of, like, storage space, uh, but, you know, they're, they're slowly learning. We at least get, like... You know, 32 gigs, which which is good for like one or two like decent sized games on your hard drive. Oh, freeze! Oh my god! I love the freeze icon. That's yeah. adorable. <laughs> yeah, these little portraits are, are a lot of fun. He looks like one of the ice climbers. <laughs> yeah, he does. I guess they didn't really have to adapt a lot for this. Um, yeah. This costume. In fact, this might be um, just based on his ice climber outfit in melee. Yeah. Yeah. Because. Um, Kirby's Adventure on the NES didn't have the hats for the copy abilities. Oh. Um, you just kind of like turned a different like hue of pink. Um, oh. It actually wasn't until uh, Kirby Superstar that they introduced oh, um, hats for the copy abilities. Oh no! And they actually didn't catch on in full and until I think the uh, the Game Boy Advance games. Did that animation on that spike is really good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The the animation in this game in general is really nice. Um, you know, not to, not to, like, throw Kirby's Adventure under the bus, Ooh, because right. that game for the NES also has really nice animation. That, was that really um, late in the, uh, the NES's cycle? Yeah, Kirby, Kirby's Adventure actually came out in, like, 93. Oh, wow. So, like, well into the lifespan of the Super Nintendo, yeah. like, the, they, they were still making, like, um first party NES games. So it was kind of Although impressive. I guess I guess it's not technically first party cuz uh, Hal Laboratory developed this. Yeah. Hey, so we're coming to the the end of our first uh, level here. Yeah. Um, you know, if we go to the boss. And I timed this um from the time I enter this room until the time this boss dies is uh roughly 9 seconds. <laughs> So what's supposed to happen nice there, box. if you don't if you don't have a, a copy ability that you can just like spam next to him, 
he'll uh, drop apples yeah. um, that you can inhale and spit back out at him. And he'll also shoot little, like, air puffs out of his mouth to attack you. So, like, he does have attacks, but if you have the right copy ability, which is most of them, you can just, like, spam it next to him and, like, drain his whole health mm. bar in, like, four seconds. I love that. I take yeah. it there's a lot of bosses like that in this game if you have the right ability. Um... Oh, get that umbrella. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Based, based on my recollection of this playthrough, yeah, most of the bosses I just kind of stand next to for a little bit and, like, spam the- And, like, you, d you don't even have to, like, rapid-fire the button, you just hold it down, and the boss dies. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I've um, always felt with, like, I don't know about the more recent Kirby games, but all a lot of the, like, older Kirby games that I've played, like Kirby 64 and earlier and all that, yes. uh, the bosses seem to be balanced around not having a copy ability. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, I love this ability. The, the, the intended boss fight, or the intended boss fight experience is like playing through the whole thing without a copy ability. And then right. if you have a copy ability, you usually can just like spam it and kill the boss pretty quickly without any trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's definitely true with uh, most, if not all, of the bosses in this Ooh. game. Except with the exception of one, but that's kind of a gimmicky uh -huh. situation that you're thrust into. Man, a, a lot of these powers are kind of broken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tornado is one that I was never really a huge fan of, because, like, yeah, you get in you get to be invincible for a little bit, but it's also kind of hard to control, because, like, you control your altitude by holding the attack button. Oh, yeah. Oh. So it's just, I don't know, any time the game has, like, kind of esoteric, like, up-and-down movement like that, it just, it just messes with my mind. <laughs> Oh, he has the slide dash. Yeah. Mega Man, eat your also, heart Also, this, this music playing right now was my favorite song in the game when I was a kid. God, B power? So oh, much nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, I man. haven't, like, even seen this game for, like, years. Really? Yeah. That yeah. The, when, when, I, when I recorded this footage, I think it was the first time playing the game since, like... I want to say middle school. Um, I, I I downloaded this from the Wii U eShop just because that's the easiest way to record yeah. uh, Game Boy Advance games if they happen to be on there. But um, but yeah, like this was this was one of my favorite games growing up, and this was one of my favorite copy abilities. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Your your spin dash. It turns you into Sonic. <laughs> hmm. Imagine that. <laughs> I like how they usually. When they introduce a new ability, they usually give you, uh, like, a, a bit of level that's specifically designed to kind of let you have fun with that ability. Yeah, that's a good point, because, like, when we got the, like, the freeze copy ability, we were in kind of a tunnel where, um, there were a bunch of enemies that were, like, aligned with upcoming enemies, so that you, you freeze them and then you kick them into like other enemies to demonstrate like, oh, you can now use enemies as projectiles. Oh, it's full player mode. So yeah, good good, good observation there. Um, so here's another one of our minigames, uh, Air Grind. Basically, you hold down the A button until you get to like the rough spots in the rails. You jump. Um, and then you let go. Just win the race. <laughs> yeah. Just, just win, win the just race. Win, just, just win, win the, the race. race. <laughs> I win the race. Oh no. I, re Daniel? I remember it. Uh, there it is. I, I remember like banging away at this, try, just like trying to get that hundred percent or, or the thousand points or whatever at the yeah, end. Yeah, trying trying to get perfect on like every single yeah, input. Yeah, I eventually did oh, it. Boy. But it, it took some attempts. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine. Are a lot of these mini games in the original as well? Actually, uh, no. no they're not different um, mini games. Oh. Not, yeah, in my opinion, not as good mini games. <laughs> some of yeah, some of them share kind of a similar idea. Like, there's one that we haven't gotten to yet that's like a pretty much a direct analog to one that was in Kirby's okay. uh, Adventure. Uh -huh. But um, in in Kirby's Adventure, the bomb rally mini game was replaced with um, a crane mini game where you um, try to get extra lives by like fishing out Kirby dolls with one of those like crane machines okay. you'd see in arcades. <gasps> UFO oh, power. The best one. <laughs> yeah, this is the best uh, copy ability yeah, in the game. Yes. Uh, basically, you can float around in any direction with the D-pad. Um, you have a beam by tapping the button, and the longer you hold the attack button, the stronger your projectile becomes. And fully charged, it can pass through walls. 
Yes, like this. Yeah, they, they actually made it even stronger in um, Nightmare in Dreamland, because in Kirby's Adventure, um, I think it only had, like, the two tiers of charging, where, um... Like, it's still a powerful blast, but it doesn't go through walls when it's fully charged. So you can just kind of, like, float around with this ability, like... Uh -huh. Yeah, this this thing is completely broken. The only downside is that you can't take it out of the level. Yeah, that's true. Like, you can't float around the overworld uh, of this thing, but... That sounds like this level's you know. kind of made for this power. Well, yeah, I mean, a lot of these, um... A lot of these, like, bomb blocks, um, when you're normal Kirby, like, if there's a bomb block in a ceiling, like, there's really nothing you can do about it, because, like, you can, when you're normal Kirby, you can slide into oh, things, oh. you can, like, inflate and spit at an air puff as, like, a little short-range projectile, but you can't attack above you unless you have a copy ability. Okay. So, a bomb block in the ceiling, you know, I would have to have a specific copy ability that can attack upwards in order to get up there. So here we have the introduction of um, Meta Knight, yeah. who proves his honorability as a knight by uh, forcing us to fight his minions. Yeah. So why does Meta Knight, why is he against you? What's his deal? Because he's dark and mysterious. <laughs> oh. He's space I don't know. Batman. I think, I think at this point he's just like testing Kirby to see if he's like strong enough to, 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 to do what he needs to do. Hasn't Kirby been on like nine adventures already on this game, the time this game came out? No, this was the second Kirby game. Oh! Okay, Kirby's Adventure was the second Kirby game. Yeah. Nightmare in Dreamland obviously came later, yeah. but um, at this point in like the Grand Kirby chronology... Grand Kirby? Um... <laughs> you're just gonna skip over the next round of Bomb what, Rally no for you scramble guys. music? We don't need to see that. We should just start inserting Scramble into other other playthroughs. <laughs> just put, yeah, just put that song in randomly. <laughs> yes. Five. Even where it doesn't... Like oh. a Resident Evil 4 or something. <laughs> Laser? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Ricochets off hills. That's one of my favorite descriptions. <laughs> These have to be from his perspective. Yeah. Is it only straight ahead, though? Oh, well, bye. Yeah, you can only you can only shoot it straight ahead, and it's a pretty small projectile. But if you're in the right kind of environment, you can, um, like it says, you can ricochet it off of little um, like diagonal bits in the geometry. Flying pigs, of course. AKA slopes. Yeah. Oh, well, by laser. Now that yeah, those those flying pig enemies back there. Um, I remember in Kirby's Adventure they had like a different design. They were like little kind of like bug-eyed looking guys that would cling to the walls. Yeah. Which I guess made a little more sense than what they were replaced with, but... Rock yeah. Kirby. This one, I don't think, really came into its own until um, later Kirby games, when yeah. you could use it, like, um, on slopes, and, like, slide downhill. Because here you just kind of use it in place, um, oh, and, like, nice. it makes the boss kind of awkward to fight, because you have to be, like, close enough to damage him, but not so close that you're, like, inside his model and taking touch damage. You got my friend Mike. Hey, Mike! <laughs> Making his first appearance on GCG. Yeah. It's good to have you, Mike. Um, nice. But yeah, the uh, the Mike ability is basically a three-use version of Crash. Yeah. Where it's just like a multi-purpose oh, or multi-use uh, screen nuke. So that's... But yeah, this is the area where you're intended to use laser to get all these little okay. up in the ceiling. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Very, very situational ability yeah. laser, but, you know. Well, some of those... a, a, lot, a lot of the, I, I think, later Kirby games... Because this one, each copy ability only does one thing. Yeah. Because, you know, it was an NES game, and there were only, like, two usable buttons on the controller. Yeah. Um, so they had to, you know, design games to be simple to uh, to work with that. So all the copy abilities in this game just do, like, one thing. Uh, but I prefer in, um, you know, like, Kirby Superstar, which came later, where there aren't... Well, actually, Kirby Superstar still had, like, quite a few copy abilities in it, didn't it? Yeah. Like, I'd say it had, like, close to as many as this one did. I think my favorite in that one was Green Fire. I had a nice aesthetic Oh, to Plasma, it. yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Or, like, Yo-Yo. Yeah. That was fun. Mm -hmm. But, um, if, if only for the breakdancing. 
Oh, Ninja. Ninja's also good. I don't think I've but seen yeah, the, ba Basically, Kirby Superstar was I the think first I was, game. Like, Fighter Kirby. Oh, yeah, yeah, Fighter Kirby. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, the one where he um, gets the. If the we list end. them all, we're gonna be here all day. But right. bottom line, Kirby Superstar was the first Kirby game to allow you to do m perform multiple actions with the copy abilities. What is he? Uh, so it almost becomes like more of a like a side scrolling like brawler. What is he? Because there's just so much of a more of an emphasis on like combat hey, Joe, with the enemies. I thought you said you've never played a beat 'em up before. <laughs> okay, well, that was off the record, Dan. So thanks for confusing the audience. <laughs> you fool. Aww. Now I poke around this area a little bit because you're, you're kind of just supposed to go to the right and finish the level, but um, if you go down and look around a little bit, there's a few little things you might Ooh. find. Um, and I think this room right here, well, okay, you can get the um, whatever that enemy is supposed to be yeah. uh, and break through these uh, metal blocks, which I think you can only get through with um, uh, burning, hammer, and maybe stone, if I'm remembering correctly. That makes sense. Also, you can use burning to, um, climb up walls. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they changed the name of this ability, though, because in, um... In Kirby's Adventure, that power was called, um... Fireball. But for some reason in this one, they changed it to burning, which almost sounds like kind of a poor translation. Burning! Oh, oh you gotta get bomb power. It's one of my favorites. Uh, actually, those guys don't give you a copy ability in this what? game, only in Superstar. Oh, yeah, weird. Yeah, that was added later. Here, they're just kind of fodder. Oh. Man, you're making your way through this world pretty fast. Well, I mean, the, the this is meant to be, like, a, a game for, like, real young uh. kids or, um, you know, <laughs> people who are just kind of getting started with, <laughs> with video games. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, like, it was it was kind of the perfect game for me to play yeah. after, you know, because you know, I played a lot of Pokemon prior to this, but, you know, Pokemon doesn't really require a whole lot of mechanical skill. Right. It's more about, like, the strategy. So, I would say that, like, you know, if you're somebody who's kind of, like, intimidated by, like, the mechanics of games or, like, difficulty, uh, the Kirby series is a good place to get started because they don't really... They, they, they give you a lot of margin for error, like, you know, Mario dies in, like, one or two hits, but yeah. Kirby can take up to six hits in this game, yeah, at least, yeah. before he kicks the bucket. And most of the enemies just kind of walk slowly from side to side. Yeah, yeah they're kind of just there for you to, like, use your abilities against, and... <laughs> You know, for for a while, I was kind of like, oh, I'm too old to play Kirby games. Like, this isn't challenging, but... You know, they, I, I think they... I really do think they have their place. Like, they kind of make up for the lack of um, mechanical difficulty. Just with, like, their, um, like, aesthetics and charm. And I was almost able to one-cycle that <laughs> boss, but I think he just... He gets going a little too fast. <laughs> Teabagging the, the boss after you failed to one cycle him. Come on, <laughs> Joe. Hey, he 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 knows what he did. So you just you just played it a second ago, and I'm sorry to interrupt, but I didn't know Funky Kong's funky flights were in this game. <laughs> yeah, making a hilarious appearance. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that that that's kind of an unfortunate boss to skip over because the concept is actually really cool. Like he skates around to his different easels, and he'll um draw something and then the thing will come to life and attack you but a lot of the times if you swallow the thing that he draws you get a copy ability Ooh. so you know if it wasn't so pathetically easy it would actually be kind of a mm -hmm. you know it's a fun concept but you know it's you know it's supposed to be really easy so it does you don't really get a whole lot of mileage out of it if you just you know try to kill the boss as yeah. fast as possible but anyway uh thanks for joining us for the first episode of our uh, nightmare in dreamland playthrough tune in next time for part two yeah Bye.